Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with my Springfield Range Officer 9mm compact pistol. This, com this gun was made by Springfield uh, for quite some time. It is no longer on the market. It weighs in at 29.5 ounces. The overall length is going to be 7.6 inches. Its height is going to be 5 inches. There is a 4 inch bull barrel in the end uh it does come in with what they say is about a four pound uh trigger pull uh with its skeletonized trigger it also has a skeletonized uh hammer extended beaver tail extended uh non-ambi safety it does have a rear novak sights and it comes with a fiber optic front sight so springfield uh came out with the range officer uh, quite a while ago. I remember uh, when they came out, they were kind of a mil spec type deal and they were nine millimeter and they were full size and they were kind of standard. And then they came out and then started to come out with more and more kind of race style uh, 1911s. And then they came out with this compact and, you know, it feels really, really good in the hand. It, to me, it's a little short. My pinky likes to hang off a little bit, but I can get on it. It does come with eight round nine millimeter magazines. Uh, and so you can get a really good purchase on it. Makes it for really good conceal and carry. They have these beautiful rosewood grips with the engravings. And it says uh, compact on the side and really does feel really, really good in the hand. It uh, does have a really nice, clean, crisp trigger. I am not a huge fan of Springfield for what they've done to the Second Amendment in the past. That being said, a good 1911 is a good 1911. Uh, the trigger is easy to get to. Obviously, with that extended beaver tail, you're never going to end up with hammer bite on this. It does have a solid aluminum frame. They have done a really good job with the steel slide matching up the finish. The finish seems to be really in pretty good shape on this particular gun. I am going to show you the box and what you get with it. Um, you know, it's designed to be a high-end 1911, so they give you a high-end box. With it comes um, not this holster that just came in with the trade. It will come with a range holster, a range mags. It will come with the two magazines. This particular one that I got on this trade had a third magazine with a extension on the back. This extension does come forward a little bit, but it does feel okay in the hand. Uh, it, you know, you're going to be, you're going to feel okay going to the range with this particular range box. Now underneath here, there should be, this has some, uh, additional options as far as safeties, uh, in this particular case, uh, looks like you can even switch it to be a, um, left-handed safety. So that's kind of cool. There's supposed to be a little bag with a disassembly tool and uh, it did not come with one. And this is one of the reasons I'm not a massive fan of bull barrels because it makes for unique disassembly. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring this to you today is to show you um, how to disassemble this, how I've kind of figured out how to do it. And it can be done. It is not um, as easy as a regular 1911. First thing I'm going to do is just make sure that I've got nothing in there, which I do not. Then I'm going to pull back to the disassembly spot. Go ahead, pull out the slide stop, slide release, and go ahead and pull this off. Again, this is in just immaculate. They're designed to be uh, well fit, and they do a really, really good job. So, if you just tried to pull this out, you won't. There's no barrel bushing on this, so there's not a whole lot you can do about that. So what do you do? Well, there's actually supposed to be a tool. I will show you a picture of it, and then I will also show you kind of how it works. What I found on this is if I push in here and then pull back here, I can get just enough clearance to get it out. So I'm going to try to do it while on camera here so you guys can see it. And I push forward, and then it just comes out. Of course, my whole table is going to... There we go. And then it just comes out. So there will be... Um, so there's a little plastic tool that comes with it that just snaps in on the end of 
This, I will show you where it snaps in here in a minute. And that will actually make it so it just comes right out really super easy. This will then come out, you put that down, and your bowl barrel will just slide out the front. And that is a big old bowl barrel. Um, it will add extra weight to uh, your, your whole shooting affair, which should add some accuracy to your shooting. So, uh, I find 1911 triggers are so good that I don't really need the extra weight, especially with a 9mm. But if that's kind of your thing, that's awesome. It will do the job. So then you just go ahead for reassembly, put it in like so. Then you put this housing back in on the end here. Push this, your swinging link in. You want these teeth down. You want to go ahead and get her started. And then again, you push in, and this is really hard to see on camera. And uh, of course, occasionally that's going to go ahead and go down. So you just go ahead and push in and go. And then she will go right on in. And unfortunately, occasionally, you'll get it angled like I have it here on the slide. And so then you have to kind of readjust it. It is much, much easier to do with the tool that comes with it. So if you're ever uh, going to trade one of your guns, please, for all that is holy, make sure to go ahead and put uh, all the tools in it that belong in it. So again, let's see if we can do this on camera a little bit better. So I'm gonna push in on here, push these two ends together, and then I just go ahead and slide it out. They probably saw that on camera a little bit better that time. And then it'll slide right out. To put it in, you do the same thing in reverse. Make sure your swinging leak is up. Push and pull at the same time, making sure that that swinging link does not come down. And then it will get caught the other way this time. <laughs> and then it goes right in. Now you just assemble it like any other 1911, making sure your swinging link is down. Go ahead, line those up. When you get your swinging link in line there. Line that up with my dental tool. Get her started. right on in and she is ready to go. So that is how you disassemble this without the tool. So if you are lucky enough and blessed enough to have the tool, there's a little plastic piece that just clips on right here and then it takes off all the additional struggles and frustration to disassemble and reassemble this particular firearm. Um, I'm excited to get this to the range. I'm excited to see how she shoots. I am a big fan of 1911s. I'm, I'm really hoping Springfield uh, has a runner here because this is just a cool gun. I am looking forward to the idea of possibly buying a barbecue holster and just carrying this one open carry just for fun for the 4th of July. So I want to thank you guys all for your... Uh, your assistance, your help, your views, your likes, any shares would be greatly appreciated. And as always, you stay classy, YouTube. Little middle baby bucket, do you want to live in California? No. Why? Because I'm not a communist.